Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be another what I eat in a day video. I have not filmed one of these since I was in New Zealand and normally for the most part I film these on days that I'm like going somewhere new, trying a new restaurant, just eating something a little bit exciting. But today is definitely not one of those days. I thought it might be interesting to share just sort of what I eat on a normal work day. So that is what today's what I eat in a day video is going to be. If I currently look very shiny, tired, bedraggled, <laughs> that is because I've just got home from work because I normally prep my breakfast and lunch for the next day, the day before. So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I eat tomorrow, technically, but I figured it made sense to start the video now and show you guys my breakfast and my lunch as I make them. So I'm about to start making dinner for this evening and normally lunch wise, I try and just take in what I've had for dinner the night before just because it's a lot easier. It saves me having to make an extra thing. And also I'm feeling so uninspired with lunch ideas at the moment. If you have any kind of cheap vegan lunch ideas, please let me know. I feel like I've asked this quite a few times before, but I am constantly in need of some new inspiration for lunches because I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I literally can't bring myself to make anything. Everything sounds very unappetizing. Everything sounds like it's a lot of effort. And by the time I get home from work, I just don't have the energy to do anything too extravagant. Hence why for the most part, I just take in leftovers for lunch. So for dinner this evening, I am making something really simple. I'm just having pesto pasta because if I'm honest with you guys, I am feeling very tired this evening. I'm not feeling too great. So normally I put in maybe a little bit more effort into my dinners but not today, I am not in the mood. I'm gonna be really simple and literally just cook up some pasta, add some pesto and probably serve it with some spinach. So I'm then gonna just put the leftovers from that in the Tupperware to take for my lunch tomorrow. And then for breakfast, I have the same thing every morning and that is overnight oats. So I will show you guys how I make that. Okay, so I'm starting with lunch. So I've just shoved some pasta in there to boil. Guaranteed it's not gonna be the right amount because I never seem to get the right amount unless I weigh it. So. Hopefully this will be enough and not too much, but this is just salted boiling water and a bunch of pasta. The pasta I use is this Asda Smart Price one because it is super cheap and all pasta tastes the same to me. I've also just added some spinach to this Tupperware that I'm gonna add the pasta to when it's cooked. Okay, so while the pasta is cooking behind me, I'm gonna crack on with my breakfast. So like I already mentioned, I pretty much have the same thing for breakfast every single morning which is overnight oats. In fact, I don't think I've had a different breakfast before work since starting this job. I just find it really easy. It saves time. I can make it the night before. I don't have to make anything in the morning. And also this is super filling. Like literally this will keep me full until like one, half one. Sometimes I don't even take my lunch until like half two. So this is a really good filling breakfast and I enjoy it. I feel like I'm going to go off it eventually because I'm going to become sick of it. But for now, this is working. So I'm going to share with you guys how I make my overnight oats. So these are the things I like to normally put in my overnight oats. I feel like overnight oats are one of those things that you can really jazz up if you want to. I feel like you could add a bunch of like nuts and seeds and different dried fruits and berries, etc. But these are the things I use. I like to keep it fairly simple and I like to keep the costs fairly cheap. So these are the Tesco oats. These are the cheapest ones they sell. So I think that's like 75p for a kilogram of those. I've got some Tesco soy milk, got some Alpro yogurt. This is the plain version. I don't actually normally get this. I like the vanilla one and the coconut one best, but I picked this up by accident. And then I like to add some raspberry jam with this plain version, only because this plain version isn't very sweet. If I'm using the vanilla or the coconut, then I don't bother with the jam. I've got some frozen blueberries. These defrost when you keep the oats in the fridge overnight, so they're not super cold when you actually go to eat them. And then I also add some raisins. So those are the things I'm gonna shove in, and it literally is a case of me just shoving it in a bowl and mixing it up and then shoving it in the fridge. I'm actually going to make three portions just to last me till the end of the week to save me having to do this at another point, so I'm going to prep this now. 
so these are definitely not the most appetizing looking breakfasts I've ever made. If I put more time and effort into it, I could have maybe made them look a little bit more appealing. But these are the finished breakfasts. I'm now going to shove them in the fridge and I will show you what they look like when I bring them out for breakfast tomorrow. The pasta is now finished cooking, so I have rinsed and drained it and I'm about to add a generous portion of pesto. So the pesto that I use is this one from Tesco. It is from their free from range and it is just basil pesto. It is so good. So I'm going to add a bunch of this. And then I'm literally just going to add this to the spinach. If I wasn't feeling quite so lazy, I would cook up some vegetables to put in this as well. But to be honest, don't have the energy for that tonight. So I'm going very simple. Okay, so now this is my finished lunch. Super simple, super easy. And I'm going to shove it in here ready for tomorrow. Good morning. So it is now the next day. I look and feel very tired, but I'm just about to eat my breakfast. So I thought I would show you guys. So this is what my breakfast looks like. Again, doesn't look very appetizing, but it's like a lot thicker this morning. I've also added jam to it this morning because I realized I actually forgot to do that yesterday. And then I also have a good old cup of tea. I'm now back from work and I'm gonna crack on with dinner. So I normally get home from work at around quarter to 10 to six ish. And I try and start dinner pretty much as soon as I get in because as soon as I sit down, that is me done for the evening. <laughs> like, as soon as I'm down, or I guess I'm being hypocritical because I'm sat right down now, but if I relax for too long, the exhaustion hits, and then I just cannot be bothered to make anything. So on nights like those, I usually end up with like toast for dinner, which is not a good dinner. So I'm gonna try and start dinner ASAP, just so I still have like a little bit of energy left in me to make it. I think the plan is, is to try and put it so it's cooking, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower have a quick shower and then by the time I'm out of the shower hopefully dinner will be ready because that would be perfect and that saves me a little bit of time so for dinner tonight I think I'm going to make some sort of lentil curry lentil soup type thing I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be but it's going to be something warming I want something with like lots of vitamins and veg in because I'm not feeling 100% feeling pretty run down and pretty tired and everyone at work seems to be getting ill like on my table currently everyone is just dropping so I want to try and fight off any potential illness by filling myself with something really healthy and something that hopefully will make me feel good also on the topic of feeling good and not getting ill I forgot to show you the vitamins that I take so I pretty much take these every single morning I took them this morning but I just completely forgot to show you so I have a B12 spray. If you want, I will link these in the description because when I went vegan, I had no idea like which vitamins and things to take. So I have this spray. This actually tastes really good. I really recommend it. And it's the type of B12 that's better absorbed or something. To be honest, I don't really know the science behind it, but I know there's like two types of B12, I'm pretty sure. And this is the right stuff, I think, I hope. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> and then also at the moment I'm taking vitamin c to try and stop myself from getting ill so this is the vitamin c that i have and then also i've been taking zinc because i think you're meant to take zinc with vitamin c to help it absorb at least i'm pretty sure that's what my mum's told me so <laughs> that's what i'm doing yeah actually this says on it helps maintain a normal function of the immune system so there we go hopefully those things will help make me not ill as well but for now i'm gonna go crack on and shove a bunch of vegetables in a pot and basically leave it to boil while i'm in the shower also actually just quickly on the topic of vitamins i'm pretty sure i should be taking a multivitamin as well as like b12 if you're vegan i'm pretty sure that is like the recommended thing to do i'm just pretty lazy when it comes to vitamins and i haven't got on that yet I mean, I'm pretty proud of myself as it is for the vitamins I have been taking. I think my mum would be pretty impressed with me. But yeah, I definitely need to get a multivitamin. So hopefully when I'm editing this video, that will be a little reminder and I can order some because yeah, I definitely need to get on that. Okay, so these are the things that I think I'm gonna put in my curry slash soup slash whatever it ends up being. I've got some garlic. I'm pretty sure this is meant to be really good for your like immune system and things. I'm obviously not gonna put all of this in there. That would be excessive even for me and I love garlic. So I will probably put maybe two or three cloves in there. 
I've got a carrot, which is very high in vitamin C. I've got some onions, some sweet potatoes, which I'm pretty sure are also high in vitamin C. And then I've also got the red lentils. So I think I'm just gonna chop all of this stuff up, shove it in here, add the lentils, and then top it with maybe some veg stock and coconut milk. Just gonna simmer that until all of the veg and lentils and things are cooked. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of spices and flavorings and things so it tastes good. So all the veg has now been chopped, I've put it in this pan, I've also added probably about a tablespoon or so of sunflower oil, so I'm going to fry this off for a couple of minutes on medium heat, and then I'm going to add the lentils and all the liquids, so I've got half a litre of veg stock here, I've just used one of these OXO vegetable stock cubes, and then I've also got a can of coconut milk that I'm going to add in, so I'm going to add all that in, put a lid on it and basically just cook it until it's all soft and cooked. I'm also actually going to add this curry powder to the veg while I'm frying it off before I add all the liquids and everything. I do have more interesting spices that I could put in individually but to be honest I'm feeling pretty lazy tonight. So this has a bunch of stuff already in it and I figured it was a lot easier than me picking out which flavours I want to add. So I'm doing the lazy option, I'm just going to add this and maybe some salt and pepper as well. Okay, so I'm kind of on a roll with making unappetizing looking food today. I just tasted this so, and it does taste really good, but it just looks pretty grim i'm not even going to say what it looks like but this is the finished soup slash curry thing i was debating whether i was going to serve this with rice or with bread but in the end i was too lazy to cook up some rice so i have just buttered a wrap because i didn't have any bread and i have already eaten some because <laughs> i got hungry so this is the butter that i use this is my favorite dairy-free butter ever and then these are the wraps that I've got, so white and wheat wraps from Asda. So I've put that on the side. This probably isn't the right bowl to put this in. I feel like this is gonna go everywhere because it is quite soupy, but we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna put this in my bowl and I will show you my finished plate of food. Okay, so this is my finished dinner. I've added some salt and pepper to the top. Still doesn't look like the prettiest meal in the world but it tastes good and it's filled with lots of healthy things. So hopefully this will make me feel a little bit better. I have just finished dinner and I've also had a shower as you can probably tell, but I figured to balance out the healthiness of dinner, I'm gonna have some cake because life's all about balance. So basically I made a banana cake a couple of weeks ago now and I had too much and I live alone and I had no one to share it with. So I just ended up like freezing little individual portions wrapped in cling film. So I've taken one of these out of the freezer. I'm gonna unwrap it, shove it in a bowl, put it in the microwave for like 20, 30 seconds-ish. And then I'm gonna pimp my cake, if that makes any sense. And I'm gonna add, if I can find it. So I'm gonna add some of this vegan Nutella. This is from Sainsbury's and it's their hazelnut and cocoa spread nature's store brand this stuff is so good this is like the closest to nutella like a vegan nutella i have found it's amazing literally i could eat this whole jar with a spoon <laughs> and then just add a little bit more health and <laughs> sugar um, i'm also gonna add some biscoff spread because that's what i'm in the mood for i'm not feeling well i feel like i need cake and just a whole lot of sugar so i'm gonna add this and the chocolate spread to my warm banana cake and it is gonna be so good. I am so ready for it. Okay, so the cake is now defrosted. So I'm gonna add a good old dollop of this vegan Nutella. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. It's already going like melty. And then I'm also gonna shove the Biscoff on there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a taste test. I've not actually combined Biscoff and a vegan Nutella before. I mean, I don't think it can taste bad because it's literally Biscoff and Nutella, like, both amazing. Mm-hmm, that is so good. The crunchiness of the Biscoff definitely adds something to this. This is so good and the cake is warm. Let me know if you're a smooth or crunchy Biscoff slash, like, peanut butter or any type of nut butter kind of person. I am always team crunchy. 
I don't understand smooth, I don't get it, it's just not as good. I feel like if all the vegetables in that dinner haven't actually made my body any healthier, this has definitely made me mentally a lot healthier. This is the best decision I've had all day. I'm so excited to finish this. I think I might just end this video here because I don't think I'm gonna eat anything else today. I can't imagine after eating this that I'm gonna want to eat anything else today. So that has been my what I eat on a work day video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you found this video interesting. Let me know if you wanna see more of these types of videos or any other sort of like food related videos in general. I am planning on doing, I can't remember if I said this at the beginning of the video, but I'm planning on doing a few more sort of foodie videos because they're one of my favourites to film. So that is coming up in the near future. But thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.